opportunities to invite either at the association or at the college or at certain industry forums because listening to you is always a very very big delight for every one of us thank you if i might suggest to all of you while we get ready to listen to mr kapoor feel free to keep a bottle of bailey water <laughs> or if you choose fruity is also welcome <laughs> i hope you had your glass of horlicks because it's a good way to keep yourself healthy and agar gale mein khich khich ho to halls is welcome and i must tell you that at the end of the session you're going to feel so refreshed as if you had monjeri's cakes and natural ice creams <laughs> now if you're wondering that something's gone wrong with thai in the festive season all i'd like to tell you is each one of the brands i mentioned were created by this super brand guru jagdeep kapoor who is sitting in front of us today in this zoom meeting be it bailey fruity horlicks halls monjinis natural ice cream and if i rattle out the names of another 200 brands plus which he has impacted i would be taking about 45 minutes of the session which would be very very unfair i believe most of us here know what a phenomenon in the field of branding shri jagdeep kapoor is besides being very active in management circles in his own alma mater jamnalal bajaj institute of management studies the iims several industry forums in india and abroad sometimes when we talk to him or read about him and his book we wonder if he is truly a guru because his books read brand mantras brand astras brand shastras brand namkaran etc etc so no wonder we like to call him brand guru welcome shri jagdeep kapoor we are so fond of calling you jk and i think <laughs> that name really gives a wonderful feeling about the great work that you have done welcome on behalf of all our past presidents of bombay management association our entire team at bma and every one of us present here this evening we look forward to listening to you and gaining some wisdom out of your rich experience namaskar and over to you sir thank you so much uh, professor professor mani is a dear friend and over decades thank you so much dr kavita thank you chaya and all the people at bma in fact dr kavita actually at the beginning made me trot and jog memory lane where she told me that ernest fernandez of the erstwhile tomco which uh, was the one which made hamam and many other such brands tata oil mills and then later on uh, evolved so ernest fernandez shared with uh, dr kavita uh, a photograph of 25 years ago where i had addressed the bombay management association that's really nice of dr kavita and that very nice ernest fernandez and uh, <laughs> i was i was younger in those days but it's good to be back at bombay management association and uh, wonderful dr kavita that's i i had uh, at that point of time hair also uh, but uh, i assume that with professor mani now saying that it's wisdom wellness days i lost my hair and maybe gained some wisdom uh wonderful to be with you today and uh, i am going to begin and uh, the topic that i am going to share my thoughts on is no rona during corona a lot of people have been distressed have been stressed what do we do during covid times what does management do what do business people do what do industrialists do when you have such hardships and you have every now and then a curfew or a lockdown and various things that happen well let me tell you there are ways to go about i was sharing with dr kavita and professor mani that uh, we handle a large number of clients and uh, the total number of clients we've handled over the last 25 years has been about 918 and amongst the current clients 94 that we have uh, we handle we are custodians of a business of about 2 lakh 40000 crores this year being the covid year there has actually been a growth of 65% on that 240000 crores so there are opportunities 
and ways in which you can grow. And that's what I'm going to share with you out of experience. So let's get started. I'm going to ask my colleague, Kamal, my marketing manager, to share the slides. So there we go with the first slide. And uh, I told Professor Mani that there you see the BMA logo. I cannot allow any logo to be missed out, whether it be Samsika or whether it be BMA. Uh, you can actually see behind uh, Professor Mani also the ITM logo. So logo jo hota hai, wo logo ke liye hota hai. That's my brand mantra. So we give deep respect to branding and to logos. So all of you, welcome to this session of No Rona During Corona, which is basically brand marketing growth during COVID times. Next. <clears throat> so we welcome you all and thank you for inviting me. It's a great honor. And it's, it's a great thing which Dr. Kavita shared that 25 years ago and that lovely photograph, which I'm going to request her to share with me for my archives, that uh, 25 years ago, I had come to BMA and given a talk there. Thank you so much, Dr. Kavita and Ernest Fernandez. Next. So my first brand mantra during no Rona, during Corona is very simple. Stop crying and start crying. Most of the time we are spending in crying. Now that is futile. That is useless. For example, you know, there is a very large industry which is called QSR. QSR is basically quick service restaurants. It could be a McDonald's, it could be a KFC, it could be a Domino's, it could be a mainland China, it could be a barbecue nation and so on and so forth. Many, many, many such quick service restaurants. Now you hear all the while that restaurants are closing. They are not allowed to be opening after six o'clock or eight o'clock. Uh, the footfall has dropped. Uh, there is social distancing, only 50% capacity allowed, etc., etc. So there is one way of crying about it. The other way is trying about it. So I would say that the QSR industry needs to change their thinking. Uh, I, I would request, uh, yeah, if everyone can be in mute, so it won't be disturbed. So the QSR industry needs to change their thinking and become from QSR, they need to become HSR, which is quick service restaurant needs to become home service restaurants. Because the kitchen is allowed to run. The difference is instead of sitting in the restaurant and eating, people are sitting at home and eating. Consumption has not dropped. And the kitchen is allowed to run. Takeaway is allowed. Home delivery is allowed. So in fact, recently, there was an IPO of a quick service restaurant when restaurants are closing down and there's a curfew of barbecue nation, which are oversubscribed. Because the fact of the matter is you need to be able to look at where you are going to consume, how you are going to consume, when you are going to consume. And maybe those things have changed, but consumption has not gone down. So stop crying and start trying. So whether it's a club, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a hotel, if you stop crying and start crying, you actually can increase your sales. Kitchen is running. They are allowing you to run the kitchen. All that they are saying is you cannot be sitting in a restaurant after a point of time or you can't have 100% capacity, maybe 50% capacity. So, well, if you can't consume in that location, you can consume at home. Because the kitchen can still prepare as tasty a dish as it was served in the restaurant. And the restaurant is happy to serve you at home. So there are many, many industries which need to stop crying and start crying. And to give you the further example, let's take five-star hotels. Five-star hotels, there are restrictions, closed, etc., etc. Many of them have been turned into quarantine centers. Now, supposing a five-star restaurant has four restaurants a Chinese, an Italian, an Indian, a multi-cuisine. When you would go with your family, you would go and visit one restaurant and you would sit and eat in that restaurant. But today, you can order from all four restaurants and they will actually deliver from all four restaurants together as a package at home. 
So actually times are better. Times are not worse. It's just a matter of being able to try and not to cry. And that's my first brand mantra of no Rona during Corona. And that is an extremely important way of considering. There are people who have started doing it. Sales have gone up. Turnover has gone up. Actually, in many cases, profit has also gone up because the overheads go down. So the way to look at it is that while something closes, something else opens. My belief is that my other brand mantra is Markets don't decline, they shift. So maybe it has shifted from consumption at restaurants to consumption at home, but it has not declined and the kitchen is still allowed to function. So that's my first brand mantra in this webinar. Let's go to the next one. Brand marketing growth is like breathing. Don't stop. You cannot stop. You cannot say that, you know, I have been breathing since 40 years in my life. Now, one day I will take a holiday and stop breathing. You're dead. And similar is the case in brand marketing. If you stop, then your brand is dead. Here I'd like to give you an example. A very powerful example. You see, in the entire industry and consumer-facing industry, the top five companies are, uh, I'm going to uh, open for question answers with Professor Mani and uh, Dr. Kavita has allowed me from six o'clock onwards. So keep your questions ready and I'll flow with this presentation and thereafter I will answer each and every question. Because if I start answering questions in between, the flow will get disturbed. So after six o'clock, 15, 20 minutes, as many questions I've answered, right? And uh, you see, uh, you don't have to agree with me. I always say, this is my opinion. This is my strategy. This is my recommendation. You could use it at your risk, okay? The fact of the matter is that if we look at the top five consumer-facing companies, number one being Maruti, 90,000 crores. Number two, Samsung, including mobile phones, 60,000 crores. Number three, ITC, over 45,000 crores. The recent, recent results have yet to come out. Number four, Hindustan Unity work, more than 37,000, 40,000 crores. And number five, Amul, which is over 30,000 crores. And let me take the example of Amul. During this COVID period, if one brand has not stopped, whether in terms of sales, distribution, whether in terms of advertising, promotion, it has been the taste of India, which is Amul. You will never have a problem in being able to get Amul. They have made sure that they have adapted. You remember a year ago, Ramayan and all the other epics were sponsored by Amul. You would remember a year ago, old ads and new ads, everything was put up, right from milk to butter to ghee to ice creams to kulfi. Everything was being not only promoted, but also sold and distributed. And I'm very sure that in the last one year, the sales of Amul have jumped like no one's business because of one reason, they did not stop. They did not stop either sales distribution. They did not stop either advertising or promotion. They did not stop their motivation. They did not stop their production. They did not stop any of the marketing activities which were normally done. Yes, they found another way. Maybe if they could not deliver to, the distributor could not deliver to the retailer. Many a times, in the beginning of last year, the retailer would go to the distributor and pick up goods. Many a times, the distributor would give them token numbers and say, here, you come at one o'clock and you can carry your goods. I may not be able to come there. But it didn't stop. Ways were found. And therefore, like breathing, don't stop. Brand building doesn't allow you to stop. And therefore, like a human being, a brand has life. And life continues if you don't stop. It should be nirantar. It should be uninterrupted. And Amul is a great example, both in advertising as well as sales distribution, which has built it into even a bigger brand. There are many examples, but I'm going to give you one, one example related to each of the mantras. 
So light breathing, don't stop. It is very, very important that your consumer, your customer must be able to get uninterrupted communication and uninterrupted supply. You may have to find other ways. You may have to put in more effort. You may have to design new models of sales distribution or advertising. You may have to move from conventional to unconventional. But the fact of the matter is, please do not stop. Next. If the customer does not come to you, you go to the customer. I give you an example and you'll be surprised. Okay. If the customer doesn't come to you, you should go to the customer. How do you do that? Right? The way to do that is that you should be in a position Well, uh, uh, Professor Mani, I am getting phone calls. They want to enter. And uh, so this is from uh, Mr. Shekhar Bajaj who wants to... Uh, is, it, uh, uh, is, it there, is there a limit of 100? Because I had said that, you know, there are going to be many more people because uh, the managing director of Bajaj Electricals is trying to get in and uh, so also many others. So what is it? Is it, uh, despite me requesting that have 300 to 500, I think we'll have put a restriction to 100. Uh, I don't know, Professor Bani. There are many waiting. Hello, we are enter. live on. Yeah, we are live on YouTube. We'll try to sort this out. You please continue. Yeah. Yeah, because Mr. Shekhar Bajaj just sent a message that he's trying to enter and he can't. Uh, uh, so I requested Dr. Kavita and you that at least have 300, 500 because there are many. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, 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 would you like to give a message? Uh, uh, to, uh, let him uh, come into the waiting room, sir. I will admit him. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll continue. Uh, so the important thing is that uh, we must be in a position to be able to understand that there has to be an uninterrupt, uninterrupted flow and that's the only way you can overcome these tough COVID times. Yeah, next one uh, before we got interrupted. So if the customer does not come to you, you go to the customer. Uh, I'll give you a very interesting example. And uh, the interesting example is that if you look at it, there are people who are basically looking at uh, the fact that you are in a position to not open garment stores or malls or jewelry stores, etc. So I remember a few months ago, we had a situation wherein uh, people said that in the jewelry industry of diamond and silver and gold, the jewelry stores are closed. And uh, therefore, uh, you know, our sales are down and we can't sell. My recommendation, my recommendation is that we must be in a position to be able to go to the customer if the customer can't come to you. For example, if you remember many, many years ago, maybe 40, 50 years ago, whenever there was a wedding at home or whenever there was a function, anniversary, birthday, the sari vendor or the jewelry vendor would actually go to the home and show the wares to the ladies, the varied types of sadis, the varied type of jewelry, and they would show it to them. And when they would show it to them, they would be in a position to be able to select their, order it, pay and buy. So we've told all our clients and you tell your jewelers 
if the customer doesn't come to you, you go to the customer, take an appointment, go to their home, meet all the sanitation requirements. And when you go there, you are in a position to be able to actually display your wares, let them make the selection, sell it to them, deliver it to them, take the payment, and sales started booming. They said, no, 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 during these times, you know, people are not buying. I said, no, that's not true. There is not a single day in India where any woman does not wear jewelry. It may be just a ring, it may just be a pendant, it may just be earrings. When every day they can wear jewelry, every day you can sell jewelry. The only thing is instead of they coming to your store, the store can go to them. And there are ways of doing it. And the moment that get, got started, suddenly you had a boom and sales went through the roof. Now the pressure was on production, not on sales, because they didn't have enough stocks. So we must be able to understand that if the customer doesn't come to you, you go to the customer. The fourth one is You know, there are a lot of people, a lot of people who are saying that things are closed. The market is closed. My recommendation and brand mantra to everyone is when everything is closed, at least keep your mind open. Jab sab kuch band ho jata hai, dimaag to khula rakho. Dimaag khula rakho hoi to market khulega. Market khulega to kismat khulega. But jab dimaag band ho jata hai, if market opens, So the first thing is, it's to do with the mindset. Keep your mind open. And if you keep an open mind and you say, oh, it's easier said than done. No, that's not true. It is practical. And I will give you examples. You see, people have not stopped viewing new movies, new releases. They have not stopped seeing new serials. The only thing is the difference which has happened is instead of going to the multiplex and cinema house, you are in a position to see it on Prime Video or on Netflix. But the consumption continues. If you cannot go and buy from somewhere else, you are in a position to have alternate modes of buying. As long as you keep your mind open. Well, sometimes it happens that while groceries and chemists are open, it may just so happen that they may be out of stock or you may not be allowed at a particular time or on a particular day over the weekends because the government has said that state government or central government that no, this is not allowed. You can go digital. In fact, the fastest way that the consumption has grown in the last one year is by people going digital. It would have taken many, many years for payments or purchases or communication to go digital. But in the last one year, the speed at which this has happened is amazing. All the mentor barriers have been dropped. So there was a worry. How will school and college children study? How will education take place? So we have a client and it's called, it's an IB school, the top IB school in India. It's called a call Mondial World School at Jew in Mumbai. And there was this thought which came in. So there is no problem, whether it be from early learning or whether it be youngsters or whether it be middle school or high school. Online education went through. Classes were held. Everything happened quite peacefully. Uh, in fact, uh, I teach at Jamnag Al Bajaj for over 35 years. Uh, my MBA students in the first year, I had all my classes, all the assignments. In fact, they are going to go ahead and give their exams also. Uh, in the second year, MBA students of brand management also. All things were continuing as it is because the mind was kept open. And if you keep your mind open, there is no reason why the market can't open and why growth can't take place. Someone told me that, you know, these days in some states, Saturday, Sunday is closed. So we have a problem in selling and marketing. I told them for hundreds of years, for hundreds of years, Sunday was always closed. So you had six days of working. 
you never cried at that time now just because saturday sunday is closed for a couple of months don't look at what is closed focus on what is open monday to friday is open you are in a position to make the best out of that so the issue is the aspect of opening if you see the results of quarter 3 and you will see the results of quarter 4 coming out now the results in quarter 3 which was the time when covid was at its highest you actually are in a position to be able to see that things have gone through the roof the kind of growths which have taken place and it's not about just consumer products it could be cars it could be garments it could be any of the product categories it could be steel so the fact of the matter is whoever was able to keep an open mind was able to open the market and was able to be able to get greater sales and profit and satisfy customers we cannot neglect our customers and consumers to be able to do that you have to keep an open mind if the mind is open the market is open yeah next my next brand mantra is you need to dare please don't compare again i am repeating dare don't compare what do i mean by this stop screen uh i am getting hundreds of calls from people that they cannot enter because you all have stopped at 100 and i requested many a times that please keep a capacity of 500 but uh, uh, every now and then i'm getting interrupted because the calls are coming from all over india and abroad that they want to enter the bma webinar but they can't because uh, at 100 you look closed anyway uh, uh, that's another opportunity of opening up open up and there are customers who are ready but if you close it then uh, what can you do okay live example uh, so going back to dare don't compare you know many a times they say that other companies in our industry are not doing this and these people are not doing this so and basically we are in a position to be able to lose these opportunities now the fact of the matter is that there was a movie and in that movie amitabh bachchan says nazdeek ke fayde ke liye dur ka nuksan mat karna kabhi bhi koi cheez band mat rakho khula rakho you will be able to get a response more than your expectation because yeah i have got someone telling me the name of the movie also on chat the fact of the matter is you have to be able to focus on boom not on gloom and doom people are ready to purchase i gave the example just before we started that the largest number of the most expensive car lamborghini got sold in the covid year in its 58 year history there is a certain amount of revenge buying which is taking place so you do your thing don't compare oh these three other companies in my industry are not doing it so i should also not do it are these guys have closed down so i should also close down are to help with them yaar you focus on your customers on your consumers on your strategy and therefore my recommendation is you dare don't compare even in cricket we recommend focus on the ball not on the bowler if you connect with the ball you score but if you take your bat and break the head and the bones of the bowler you will not get any runs so why are you looking at competition why are you comparing don't compare look at the consumer look at the customer the competitor takes away your money the customer consumer gives you the money so why in a stupid manner are you looking at the competition why don't you look at the customer why don't you look at the consumer the consumer is the one who is your god the customer is the one who is your god not the competitor and therefore you must dare you must not compare 
because every brand is unique every company is unique every product and service can be made unique through branding and that's my next message dare don't compare next during the most panicking times most stressful times be composed not decomposed you should be composed relax you know when you are in an airline you are in a flight sometimes on a long flight it's quite possible there will be turbulence so that doesn't mean that in during turbulence you give up or you land at the nearest airfield or any field you have to go through that and when you have to go through that maybe you may have to increase your speed maybe you will have to just be steady and the turbulence will pass but panic is not a solution so during these periods of time in terms of your mental state you need to be composed not decomposed decomposed is when you're dead but you have to be composed it's all in the mind if you believe that there are aspects of opportunity even during these periods of time it's amazing let's look at tailors when corona started in the first 6 8 months when there was lockdown and things were not allowed to be made their business was closed they had nothing no one is going to come and get a shirt or a pajabi suit or a trouser stitched by them but they were composed they did not get decomposed what did they do they went to all the nearby chemists and kirana merchants and told them listen i can't make shirts i can't stitch pants i can't stitch punjabi suits but i can stitch masks you give me orders i'll prepare wonderful masks and i'll supply them to you and you sell it to the consumers there's a shortage of masks and they were composed and their business continued so did of the nearby chemist or the kirana the important thing is we have gone through trouble times we will again go through trouble times but the issue is your composure how composed you are is which is going to take you out of the trouble times another example of being composed and not decomposed is if you see even in the sea there's a storm ships are being thrown against the waves from one part to the other but there is always one lighthouse which is standing steady which is actually guiding the ships and they all look at that and follow that path and then you ride out the storm it's very very important lambi race ka goda kon who has the staying power staying power not of money but mental staying power following the paths that you've chosen without deviation of serving the customer and consumer because the customer remembers that and then if the customer benefits then you are in a position to be able to make sure that you are in a position to profit so make the customer benefit so that you profit but if you don't think about the customer and the consumer and you get your composure lost then forget being composed you will be decomposed next count on us don't discount on us count on us don't discount on us this is what you should be telling your customers and consumers as far as your brand is concerned stop screen you know we found during the last one year many people started discounting things and started selling distress sales my question is did their quality come down 
were they giving less quantity then why did they need to discount why do you need to discount and my brand mantra is count on us hum pe bharosa rakho hum pe vishwas rakho don't discount on us because i am not discounting my quality i am not discounting my service i am not discounting my quantity so the fact of the matter is that you have to be in a position to be able to understand that you should be in a position to look at it and tell the consumer to have faith in you and if you are able to do that you can tell them count on us bhaiya bharosa rakho hum quality nahi girayenge hum service nahi girayenge hum quantity nahi girayenge hum reputation nahi girayenge hum image nahi girayenge hum price bhi nahi girayenge hum badhayenge girayenge nahi so sab kuch jab sahi hai so why should you be at the pressure of discounting even the digital world it is very silly in the digital world there are some brands who do not give any discount what is sold offline is sold online at the same price because they have confidence in their brand and their brand marketing strategy but there are others who offline are selling at one price and online are giving 30 40% discount what is the logic digital buying e-commerce was for convenience was not for discounting therefore count on us don't discount on us i have a client called wellness forever it's a very large chain of chemists and you would have seen it in mumbai pune thane nasik everywhere and it's growing by leaps and bounds so once they asked me the directors so i said we'll make bags and you can use my brand mantra the registration is mine and on those bags you write count on us don't discount on us so any time any client any customer asks you just show the bag and you are in a position so you have more than 200 wellness forevers today all over and thriving and growing very well so don't make that mistake because discounting is suicidal when you're not dropping your quality you're not dropping your service you're not dropping your quantity why the hell are you dropping your price that means aapke andar atmavishwas nahi hai aur brand building mein aur business mein do hi cheez to zaruri hai एक कस्टमर और कंज्यूमर का विश्वास और एक मार्केटियर का आत्मविश्वास वो दोनों होंगी तो कोई कोरोना कोई कोविड आपको रोक नहीं सकता यू हैव टू फाइंड अदर वेज ऑफ डूइंग एंड आई हैव एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिकली प्रैक्टिस्ड एंड आई गेव यू द फिगर्स आल्सो विद द ग्रोथ व्हिच आर देयर सम ऑफ माय क्लाइंट्स हैव ग्रोन ओवर 100 बट एज अ क्यूमुलेटिव ऑफ 2 लाख 40000 क्रोर्स ऑफ वन ईयर अगो वी ग्रोन एट 65% and we continue to grow there is no stoppage at all next logo logo ke liye hota hai i was telling professor mani and dr kavita that there the bma logo is there the samsika logo is there the itm logo is there the jbims logo is there logo is your symbol and it is a trust because another word for brand is trust so logo kiske liye hota hai logo logo ke liye hota hai to jab tata ka logo dekhte ho to vishwas aa jata hai right aur jab amul ka logo dekhte ho to vishwas aa jata hai wo 5 rupaye ka parle ji ka biscuit ka packet uske upar सबको विश्वास है बारह हजार करोड़ का सेल है कोई भी खोल के गिनता नहीं है कि अरे यार एक बिस्किट कम तो नहीं दे दिया कोई भी खोल के तोलता नहीं है कि यार इसका वेट तो नहीं कम हो गया विश्वास है और वो पार्ली जी का लोगो जो है वो विश्वास का प्रतीक है 
And therefore, having your logo actually repose confidence and trust is very important. Because logo jo hai, wo logo ke liye hota hai for your customers and consumers. And when they see that logo and they say, yes, this is the brand I want to buy because I trust you. And during these periods of time, it's the best time to be able to build your trust and not to take a shortcut. There will be temptations to compromise, to take a shortcut. No. logo should represent what you stand for. Next. Many a times people ask me, which book should I read? Kya aapki book padhe hum log? Zaroor padhe hai. Aur kaun si book padhe? Marketing ki book padhe, brand ki book padhe, business ki book padhe. Haan haan padhe hai na. Sab book padhe hai, sab articles padhe hai, online padhe hai, offline padhe hai, padhe hai. But please, my brand mantra is, read the consumer. Read the consumer. Sab se achcha jo reading hoga, that is read the consumer. Stop screaming. अगर आपने सब कुछ पढ़ लिया सब बुक पढ़ लिया मगर कंज्यूमर को और कस्टमर को पढ़ना भूल गए तो आपको ना पता चलेगा उसकी जरूरत क्या है उसको खुश कैसे कर सकते हैं क्योंकि कंज्यूमर जो है वो आपकी सूरत से नहीं अपनी जरूरत से खरीदते हैं एंड देयरफॉर यू नीड टू रीड द कंज्यूमर एंड ड्यूरिंग दीस कोविड टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग दिस कोरोना टाइम्स देयर वर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज व्हिच केम इन Wherein the consumer was saying, read me, this is my need, serve me, I'm willing to pay the price, I'm willing to consume. But the companies which read the consumer, they grew. And the companies which did not read the consumer, or for that better, misread the consumer, they dropped. And there were worse companies who only waited. वो हाथ पे हाथ धर के बैठे चलो अभी खुलेगा तीन महीने हो गए चलो अभी नेक्स्ट मंथ लॉकडाउन खुलेगा चार महीने हो गए नहीं नहीं अभी नेक्स्ट मंथ खुलेगा अरे अपने आप थोड़ी खुलने वाला है हमारे को खोलना पड़ेगा और मार्केट खोलने पर दिमाग खोलना पड़ेगा फिर तरीका ढूंढ लेंगे एंड दे फोर रीड द कंज्यूमर ड्यूरिंग टफ टाइम्स और गुड टाइम्स इफ यू रीड द कंज्यूमर नो वन कैन स्टॉप योर ग्रोथ Because at the end of the day, what are we looking at in terms of brand building growth, brand awareness growth, brand trials growth, brand repeats growth, brand sales growth, brand market share growth, and also brand profit growth. Because at the end of the day, brands cannot only be making noise; brands must also make profit. But if you have the right approach, the right strategy, लाओगे तो ही होगा नेक्स्ट इन मार्केटिंग रीच एंड प्रीच यू नो वाई डू आई से रीच एंड प्रीच आई एल एक्सप्लेन दैट स्टॉप स्क्रीन India has got twenty-eight states, nine union territories. It has got seven hundred and thirty-six districts, eight thousand one hundred towns, six lakh eighty thousand villages. Even in a place like Mumbai, Mumbai is the number one ranking town in terms of potential purchasing power and population, out of eight thousand one hundred towns. But people don't realize. That the Thane town is the fifteenth largest out of eight thousand one hundred towns in India, and Kalyan Dobivili is twenty eighth largest, and Vasai Virar is twenty ninth largest. Both Thane or all three Thane, Kalyan Dobivili, and Vasai Virar are bigger than Varanasi, which is thirtieth in number. Navi Mumbai is thirty fifth. Let's go to Gujarat. The fastest growing town in the world is Surat. 
Number one town is Mumbai. Number two is Delhi. Number three is Bangalore. Number four is Hyderabad. Number five is uh, Ahmedabad. Then comes Kolkata. Then comes Chennai. And then came Surat. Number eight. But in the last three years, in my assessment, Surat has become bigger than Kolkata and Chennai. You will not believe me. The census will prove it whenever that takes place. So for that, we need to reach. And if we are not able to reach, whether it be your service or your product, there's no point. The other thing is you need to preach. You need to educate consumers. How to use, when to use, why to use. It could be a mask. It could be a sanitizer. It could be a floor cleaner. It could be a glass cleaner. It could be actually you help a company to launch. You know, some big companies made mistakes. They launched something called vegetable wash. Called it various things. Veggie clean, veggie wash, whatever, various things. And below that they wrote to wash your fruits and vegetables. Are Baba, you're calling it veggie clean, veggie wash. And you're saying fruits and vegetables. My dad told me fruit to ped be upte. Vegetables to niche hai. Fruit to kaat ke khaya jata hai. Vegetables to pakaya jata hai. How can you have the same wash? How can you have the dentist taking care of your eyes as well as your teeth? Yeah, Therefore, what had to be done is, Are bhaiya, fruits ke liye, fruitsure, alag product. Vegetables ke liye, veggie sure, alag product. Eggs ke liye, egg sure, alag product. Dal ke liye, dal sure, alag product. Chicken ke liye, chicken sure. Because all those things are going to come and be used. But they are bringing bacteria and virus at home and that's what you're eating for your lunch and dinner. So therefore, both ho gaya. B2B, business to business. B2C, business to consumer. Humne kaha, let's launch B2K, business to kitchen. And the sales are huge because there is a need. There is a need. Because everyone wants to wash their fruits and vegetables or their chicken or meat or eggs or dal before they consume it. So opportunities are huge. If you are able to preach and educate consumers, and if you are able to reach and distribute to consumers, the sky is also not the limit, even during these times to grow. Next. This is for your sales forces. In marketing, be useful and not excuseful. You know, marketing and sales teams have very good intelligence and imagination. But the important thing is, what do they use it for? Do they use it for making sales and growing sales? Or do they use it for making excuses? So my brand mantra is, you tell your teams, Are bhaiya, be useful, not excuseful. Are koi bolta saab, am distributor retailer ko nahi mil sakte hain. Band hai. Are band kya hai, tera dimaag band hai, dimaag khol, zoom pe mil le. Saab, magar mein product kaise dikhaunga? Are zoom pe dikha le. Ma khilaunga kaise? Jab hi khula hai, subhe saad baje se, chhe baje tak, ya aad baje tak, tabhi dikha de, khila de, bata de. Many, many years ago, I had written, and this is Preach and Reach Ka. And the trademark is registered on my name. Jo dikta hai, wo bikta hai. This became very famous. But uske saad ek aur nikata, which did not become very famous. But it's useful now. Jo milta hai, wo khilta hai. So jo dikta hai, wo bikta hai, is your preach. And jo milta hai, wo khilta hai, is your reach. Wo dono na padega na. Or ek tisra bhi hai. Tisra hai ke bhai have good relationship with your customers and consumers. Because my brand mantra is sambandh, nahi to sabbandh. Are sambandh banao ge, to sales badega na. Or sambandh banane ke liye paisa nahi lagta hai. 
ध्यान लगता है एफर्ट लगता है और एक तरीका लगता है सो मेनी टाइम्स पीपल सारे मार्केटिंग में बहुत खर्चा होता है नहीं नहीं सबसे कम खर्चा पैसे का होता है उससे ज्यादा खर्चा एफर्ट का होता है उससे ज्यादा खर्चा टाइम का होता है सबसे ज्यादा खर्चा ध्यान और स्ट्रेटेजी का होता है अगर सही ढंग से करेंगे and therefore it has become very very important that use these times as opportunities to make your brands and business grow next abhi aajkal jhagda chalta hai are online beche ke offline beche this is latest fashion my brand mantra is not only online not only offline use in line marketing in line with the customers expectations i'll explain that and these are all registered even the word in line is registered in my thing abhi koi bolta online are baba online or offline are only channels of distribution you should do in line marketing in line with the customers expectation i'll explain four situations you can browse online and you can buy offline you can browse browse offline and buy online you can browse online and buy online you can browse offline and buy offline and let the customer decide baba who are we to decide lenskart.com started with online usko bheja jata tha message email yaar wo aata tha briefcase leke alag alag lenses ka dikhata tha ghar pe But then they realize the range cannot be done. Today, lenskart.com itself has over 500 outlets with the name lenskart.com, where they are selling online also and offline also. Let the customer decide. Therefore, stop this debate of online and offline. Do in-line marketing, which is in line with the customer's expectations. And for doing that, be available both at the same price, online or also offline. तो कस्टमर डिसाइड उनको ऑफलाइन ब्राउज करना है ऑनलाइन खरीदना है करने दो उनको ऑनलाइन ब्राउज करना है ऑफलाइन करना है खरीदने करने दो उसको ऑफलाइन देखना है और ऑफलाइन खरीदना है करने दो उनको ऑनलाइन देखना है और ऑनलाइन खरीद द कस्टमर डिसाइड बी इन लाइन विद द कस्टमर एक्सपेक्टेशन दीज आर ओनली चैनल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दिस ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन जस्ट लाइक यू है किराना स्टोर और केमी स्टोर और गार्मेंट स्टोर और ज्वेलरी स्टोर दीज आर चैनल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन Why are we making such a big fuss about it? At the end of the day, customer buy his convenience and relationship wants to buy, which is based on in or her expectation. So be in line in terms of marketing, not only offline or only online. It should be both, but in line with the customers at the same price. It should not be that I am selling at a higher price offline and I am selling at a lower price online. the brand is the same why are you doing that you're destroying your brand and gaining ill will next in these days i would recommend home delivery is my birthright aapko yaad hai lokpana tilak ne bola tha swaraj is my birthright and i shall have it आजकल मार्केटिंग में कस्टमर बोलता है कंज्यूमर बोलता है होम डिलीवरी इज माय बर्थ राइट एंड आई विल हैव इट अरे सब कुछ होम डिलीवरी है और जो होम डिलीवरी नहीं कर पाएगा इज आउट ऑफ द मार्केट द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज आई रिमेंबर अ केस वेर इन द केस ऑफ नेचुरल आइसक्रीम प्रोफेसर मनी मैं ब्रांड्स वीव डन ओवर टू थाउजेंड ब्रांड्स एंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन क्लाइंट्स in the last 25 years so us time pe mujhe yaad hai ke jab humne kaha home delivery shuru karo home delivery shuru karo so there were questions you know are ice cream melt ho jayega ye ho jayega but there are ways there are packaging to be able to do so can you imagine you had dinner and you feel like having sita bal ice cream or you want to see almond ice cream or tender coconut that my dear client has built then at that point of time you should be able to pick up the phone and they should be able to deliver at home because that's your birthright and therefore if you are missed out this part 
then you missed out a very large segment. And therefore, earlier also it was there, but now during COVID times, it's even greater. Use all the sanitation, use all the masks, use all the sanitizers, use all the precautions. You go through everything. Now so they are in a position to allow people, after some time, it will be just like you have your passport, your visa, and you have your other card. You'll have to show your vaccination certificate, your RT-PCR uh, uh, certificate uh, before you can enter into various things. But that's fine. Do it and have that. There will be two more things which you'll have to show because that will give you the gate pass. So whether you have to take all those precautions, home delivery is my birthright. That is what the customer and the consumer is show, shouting from rooftops during this period of time. Pehli bhi tha. But now, earlier it was a luxury. Now it is a necessity. Next. Adapt and adopt. If you adapt, the customer will adopt. But if you are saying, Nay, jaise main tha, waise hi rehne wala hu. I am not going to adapt. Then the customer will not adopt. You have to adapt. You have to be in a position to adapt your product, your packaging. You have to adapt the form. Earlier, homes were available only in bars. Today, you are in a position to be able to have dispensers, liquid, everything. I'll give you an example. I have a client. He's from Bhavnagar. And the brand that we handle is called Kayam Churan. So Kayam Churan earlier was called only in Churan. 50 gram, 100 gram. Then we told them we have to adapt because the measure is not there. So, a spoon doesn't fit into 50 gram, 100 gram. So, 200 gram ka launch karte na, spoon aega, so it'll be hygienic also and it'll be measure also. 200 gram launch. But a thode loko churan person. So, thik hai yaar, tablet bhi launch karte te, kayam churan ka tablet. Liquid bhi launch karte te, sashay mein bhi launch karte te. We have to adapt. Then the consumers will adopt. Nah. But we are not going to do this. 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 So, customer will say, Okay, we are not going to do this. No problem. But the fact of the matter is, if you adapt, then the customer and consumer will adopt. And that's a very, very critical thing which has to be understood in today's brand marketing strategy, especially during Corona and COVID times. Next. You should be able to do complete listing of your market, of all your customers, the entire list should be. And for that, you need to map the market. Then you need to tap the market. Then you need to cap the market. Then you will capture the market. So supposing you go to a liquor shop and you've got many liquor brands. So you map it. Then you choose one scotch bottle, whether Shivaz Regal or Lagavulan or Glen Pridish. So you have tapped it. And then you open it, may put a peg or two, right? But you keep it open. Then the spirit will evaporate. So after mapping and tapping, you need to cap it. Then you will capture the market. So today what is happening is there are people who are allowing demand to evaporate. Demand is there. Supply is missing. Because they have not mapped it and not tapped it because of various reasons. So you need to map, you need to tap, you need to cap, then you capture the market. But if you don't know your set of customers, you don't have a listing, who will you go to sell to? And that is very basic, but it's very, very crucial in these times. Next. You have to take responsibility during these periods of time. Take onus, then you will get bonus. You cannot blame Corona. You cannot blame COVID. You cannot blame the government. You cannot blame your kismat. You cannot blame your destiny. You cannot blame luck. You have to take responsibility. You have to take the onus. This is the situation. The important thing is, if you sweat, 
during peace times you will not bleed during war that means prepare 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 and for that you need to take responsibility of the situation and of your brand then if you take onus you will get bonus but if you shirk responsibility and keep blaming everything else in the world then you are missing the point next in trouble times boost brand immunity you see what happens is people are boosting their body immunity their health immunity which is good but you need to boost your brand immunity and brand immunity can be boosted only when you take care of the brand as you would have taken care in the normal circumstances as i told you markets don't decline they shift so you may have to shift you have to find a new way you have to adapt but for that you have to build the immunity of your brand that even if there is like someone told me you know i am a sales guy i do 40 calls a day but market is closing early so i can only do 20 someone else said you know saturday sunday is closed so saturday i can't do it no 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 start early start early complete your 40 calls and if you are working for 5 days instead of 6 days you complete your 240 calls the simple thing complete your 240 calls in those 6 days by doing more per day average but you cannot come with an excuse in these days we want uses we don't want excuses and that's how you can win next the entire market is made up of ever used consumers and never used consumers this is the best time to look at never used consumers laptop sales in the last one year have gone through the roof why because digitally everyone is working whether it be for education whether it be for business everyone is working mobile phone sales have gone through the roof tablet sales have gone through the roof because the number of ever used consumers was small but the number of never used consumers was so many and all the ones who want after the never used consumers have been able to do super duper sales we must be able to understand for example i will tell you we have a brand that we handle it is a whey protein brand it's called proburst and the owner thought about the name that he will burst the myths of protein and come up with wonderful products and he did that the opportunities which are available that supposing it is selling only in a gym or a trainer or maybe one nutrition store what are the opportunities in that same town it can sell in 500 stores it can sell in a chemist it can sell in a food store maybe a pouch can sell in a panbidi shop suddenly there are so many opportunities and proburst is going to burst the market and be in a position to build it up on a different level altogether similarly people are staying at home and if people are staying at home we have another brand called levenza which is a nightwear for ladies they are staying at home so they are wearing casual stuff in the night they would wear night suits or uh, pajamas or capris or tops etc now by being work from home it's happening throughout so you can have work from home you can wear those casuals there are people who are looking for better things in life there's a brand we handle called aesthetic which is cold press oils the best quality in the best packaging the fact of the matter is people want good quality they don't want to fall ill they don't want to have knuckly adulterated stuff and suddenly there's an opportunity for that 
the important thing is people could not distinguish between what is a genuine diamond or genuine silver or genuine gold but by educating them whether it be kista diamond or whether it be lakshmi silver or whether it be yug of gold the fact of the matter is there is need for preach and reach and these are golden opportunities and these golden opportunities can grow and they can grow like no one's business so whether it be a navdeep publication or whether it be a fevicol or an m seal or whether it be work from home and in the case of probers it could even be work out from home and you can do home consumption so you have to think in those terms and be able to build it up because that's that's where the whole opportunity is and i gave you examples like for example veggie sure pro sure chicken sure dal sure huge amount of traction coming in because consumers want they are not sure what they are consuming as virus or bacteria but then they can wash it with that for specific purposes and get protection and immunity h i h health immunity and hygiene market is growing through the roof digital laptop mobiles tablets going through the roof so if you actually look at it there's a huge huge amount of opportunity which is available and therefore you need to treat these as opportunity times not only covid times and therefore no rona during corona next now i'm opening it for questions and uh, i will leave it to professor mani to moderate the questions and uh, i'll be happy to answer all of them yeah thank you you very much sir that was as usual very very motivating inspiring and straight from the heart as they say as it always comes from you it was a wonderful evening listening to so much of gyan which you have acquired with the wonderful experience of practically working with so many brands and organizations whom you have helped reach the pinnacle of success we mentioned somewhere in the beginning about uh, mr ernest fernandez he has a question and i'm going straight across to him so that uh, he could start this discussion process with us mr sure. fernandez you can uh, please put on your video and go ahead yeah. oh Uh, hello jagdeep good evening anish good, good to evening. hear you and thank you for sending that photograph of my talk at bma 25 years ago fond memories thank you <laughs> <Pleasure. laughs> well uh, i'm so happy the last 25 years you have built such a variety of brands which is mind boggling congratulations thank you thank i was only wondering looking at the broader scenario we first thought that this whole covid was going to peter out and then we've had the second wave is it because we didn't read the consumer right and could there be many examples where actions are being taken where we're not reading the consumer right and therefore at a wider level where bma is also concerned with policies of authorities do you think that your skill in reading the consumer would be beneficial yes thank you excellent question ernest you see i i i i give you an example and this has got no bearing on uh, uh, the webinar i mean uh, professor mani is great and dr kavita is great and everyone chai is great etc uh, a simple example of reading the consumer is that uh, i personally spoke to dr kavita and to professor mani uh, uh, please make sure that accommodate 500 people because it's going to be very big but uh, maybe we didn't read the consumer right and we stopped it at 100 so there are about 300 people outside who could not attend the webinar of course uh, professor lak uh, uh, mani adapted and got it on youtube but uh, that's one example of reading the consumer the other example of reading the consumer is uh, the example of people everyone thought that you know it would be doom time gloom time but actually the consumer was looking at boom time and i'll give you this example the amount of revenge buying earnest which has happened during the last one year is not funny the highest quality of cars have been sold 
the most expensive jewelry has been bought the best of best has been bought there is a psychological angle to it the consumer says if i am going to die tomorrow let me enjoy whatever life is left so what am i going to save for <laughs> the second thing is you yourself have seen that somewhere in february one side is the market share going up one side is the share market going up so you add from february to march everything going down to 25000 that was sensex and i remember in february telling everyone by 31st december it will go to 50000 everyone laughed at me because the demand which is there of the consumers is huge but what happened is i was off by 21 days on 21st january instead of 31st december it touched 50000 the fact is even today people are not able to reach the consumers very well because they are looking at it from a pessimistic angle rather than from the need of the optimistic angle which the consumer is aspiring and finally to answer your question ernest india is divided according to me in two segments one is the perspiration segment and one is the aspiration segment you and me ernest and professor mani and dr kavita and chan dr konda and all of us we aspire to aspire right we want to move up in life i don't know why marketers constantly look at moving down in life when the consumer wants to move up why are you not able to reach the consumer give them better things maybe it's at a higher price and that's another example of the perspiration market going down and the aspiration market going up and some of the other some marketers just don't read the consumers excellent question thank you all right uh, thank you sir now i hand over to ajay goel he has a question ajay please unmute and speak up hello sure. kapoor thank you very much to give the opportunity to join your this webinar most welcome goel sir aur mujhe hamesha acha lagta hai aapse baat karke aur aaj bhi bahut acha laga bhi aapko ek ghante sunke aur hamesha jab aapke paas aata hai to main aapka naam ब्लाइंडली रिकमेंड कर देता हूँ भले वो मुझे पता है कि वो अनफॉर्चुनेटली आपका कंज्यूमर कस्टमर नहीं बन पाता है बट अभी क्या करें मेरा प्राइस बहुत ज्यादा है ना इसलिए <laughs> उस प्राइस को कम करवा करवा देंगे हम आपसे धीरे धीरे प्राइस नहीं क्वालिटी बढ़ाओ प्राइस कम मत कराओ वो मैं बोल रहा हूँ एक घंटे से चिल्ला चिल्ला के बोल रहा हूँ कपूर साहब मेरा प्रश्न ये था कि जो स्टार्टअप है जिनके पास पैसा नहीं है और उनके पास आइडिया है और अगर वो आपके पास आते हैं और कहां पर जहां पे प्राइस की बात आती है भाई सिक्स लाख रुपीज पर मंथ ट्वेल्व लाख रुपीज पर मंथ थ्री लाख रुपीज पर बाप रे आप तो पूरा डिस्काउंट आ जाते हैं मतलब उनको लगता है कि यार ये आप तो ऊपर बोरो मेरा मेरा फीस बता रहे हैं चलो कोई बात नहीं चलो मेरा काम आपने कर लिया नो प्रॉब्लम तो मेरा कहने का कंसर्न ये उनके लिए कोई ऐसा कोई फॉर्मूला आप निकाली बिकॉज आई फील इट कि यू आर द वंडरफुल गाय मतलब मुझे जहां तक जितना मैंने आपको सुना है जितना मैंने आपको जाना है उतना जाना है कि आपने आज तक नौ ब्रांड या 900 कंपनीज को आपने स्टैब्लिश किया और अच्छे लेवल पे जैसे आईबॉल के बारे में बात की आईबॉल को आप बहुत अच्छे लेवल पे लेके गए तो कुछ स्टार्टअप्स ऐसे होते हैं जो जिनके पास पैसा नहीं है लाइक अस कि वी नॉट हैव द वेरी गुड मनी बट वी हैव द आईडिया कि हम इसको लेके आना चाहते हैं तो हमें आप एक ही साहब नहीं गोयल साहब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू आई एक्सेप्ट योर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स एंड थैंक यू सो मच और दूसरी बात जो है ना वो मैं कहना चाहता हूं आपने सुना होगा काउंट ऑन अस डोंट डिस्काउंट ऑन अस बट फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज ऑन अ सीरियस नोट we have a separate startup package there is no doubt about it we understand and 40% of our clients are startup we are sensitive to that while there is a standard package which you have gladly announced and uh, now that you have announced i can even tell you okay first june se aur bhi badhne wala hai but fact of the matter is that there is a startup package and the startup package is sensitive to those customers 40% of our clients you spoke about eyeball when eyeball came to us many years ago it was a startup and uh, now the the uh, uh, the managing director there has diversified moved on and launched another brand called fingers and uh, there itself also within one and a half years it has about oh, close to about 150 crores but the fact of the matter is we have a startup package there's no problem but you know one thing boel sir which i would like to correct you is that aap bol jo paisa nahi hai ye baat important nahi hai अगर आप बोलते ना उसके पास आइडिया नहीं है तो मैं मान लेता कि भिखारी है मगर वो तो बहुत रिच आदमी है स्टार्टअप ही इज रिच फुल्ली रिच ऑफ आइडियाज एंड दोज वैल्यूज एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट इज ह्यूज हैव यू हर्ड कि भाई कितने हो गए अभी यूनिकॉर्न अभी यूनिकॉर्न से भी आगे बढ़ गए 
but they all started as startups. But on a serious note, sir, we have startup packages. There's no problem. But I would say that ऐसा मत बोलिए कि उनके पास resource नहीं है. उनके पास idea का भरपूर resource है, which is the actual value. And then सपना भी है. And हम उनका सपना पूरा कर सकते हैं. And that is something. But that can happen with someone who has a long-term vision. इसपे सबर और जिगर दोनों की जरूरत पड़ती कौन सा? मगर पैसा इज़ नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट. They are very rich. They are they are rich with ideas. And uh, also on a practical level, we have a startup package just to give you comfort. So go and sub. Not to worry. मैं कपूर से एक चीज़ और पूछना चाहता था क्या is it not possible कि All right. On that note, I'm uh, now passing on to Indrapal Singh Ji. He was uh, earlier discussing with Mr. Kapoor, and I'm sure he will have uh, something uh, Professor Mani, to bring to the discussion. Thank you for taking me to the ah. next question. But I'll give a parting shot to Goel Sir. Uh, my brand mantra is, "Why bargain when you can gain?" Let's go to the next one. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <my God. laughs> बिल्कुल <laughs> and uh, i know people who have been kind of buying those expensive thing because they are not going to go abroad and buy from abroad they're buying local brands and those startups are flourishing similarly i'll give you an example of a bookshop that i i kind of a patronize they have started sending me every week 10 books that i should buy or there could be my liking on whatsapp i was wondering how to go to the shop so they said they sab zarurat nahi aap bataiye main ghar mein delivery kar deta hu आपके रखना अच्छा रखे नहीं तो मैं शाम को जाते समय ले जाऊंगा सो इन वे आई थिंक दावी बिजनेस पीपल आर रियली रीचिंग आउट टू कंज्यूमर एट होम and making improving the life in fact he has saved me a traffic aadha uh, pona ghanta ja ke mujhe wah parking jagah dhoondni karni aur sab karna wo bacha diya ghar mein kitabe aa jati dekh leta to in fact i saw my annual consumption i have bought more books this year than i bought in the previous year exactly so i fully i fully endorse with you it's a, you have to have ideas and imagination and thank you so much for making it very optimistic and uh, very uh, kind of useful <laughs> <laughs> and it has been a sheer delight i, I suppose uh, many of us uh, would remember your earlier lectures and uh, you know connect it in more, more meaningful way thank you ji thank you absolutely in fact there are so many observations in the chat box uh, jk where they are saying that after listening to you it is a nostalgia and a trip down memory lane and some of them remember <laughs> professor jagdeep kapoor taking those classes for them at different points in time in their career i'll take one more question which is come from the youtube channel this time and sure. that is in the training and consultancy industry there is a price war please advise how we can leverage branding in this situation and go ahead in this profession i would give uh, uh, three uh, Uh, mantras or pieces of advice in the consultancy and training industry and uh, being from the same industry i can tell this by experience uh, the first uh, and the most important advice is that uh, uh, however difficult the task is it is very important that you should choose your client you should choose your client that's very important whether you have more clients or less clients uh, you have to choose your client because many a times what happens is anyone is picked up and made a client you have to be able to look at it from the point of view as to what is the thinking the open mindedness it's not the money that they have it is the vision uh, and it is the aspect of the attitude that they want to grow they want to build and therefore your consultancy and training will actually bear fruit 
but uh, supposing it's a short term thinking and supposing someone just wants to do it for the sake of uh, chalo let's take a quick fix etc to kabhi kabhi unko bolta hu main professor mani ke bachcha paida karne ko bhi 9 mahina lagta hai aap bolo ek do mahine mein ho jayega to nahi hoga to bolo aap bolo no no let's put more money wo to nahi hone wala 9 mahina hi lagne wala hai if you say put more men on the job fir bhi 9 mahina hi lagne wala hai so first we have to get the guy who is with the right attitude open minded as wants to grow that's the first the choosing the client is very selecting the client is important. the second thing is honesty and transparency you have to be candid you have to be very very candid with the client okay bhai this is the correct thing to do this is the wrong thing to do and if that sometimes you have to put your consultancy at stake in fact there are many times when i am having the meeting i always run the risk that these guys are going to sack me but my duty is to give them the right advice and get them on the right path for example all my clients we have recommended that they should not be selling on credit someone gives 90 days credit someone gives 60 days credit i have told them no you have to sell on advance all these npas which happen is because of that so then say convince us it's a very simple reason the reason is that when you say consumer is god consumer is going and paying advance to the retailer so god is paying advance so so why should middleman be given credit simple the second thing is agar advance mein wo paisa lagayega to dil lagayega dil se bechega zyada bechega jaldi bechega so the second thing is be honest blunt candid and transparent without the risk of losing the client because then you compromise your advice and the third thing which i would recommend is pick pick is pic my brand mantra be persistent be insistent and be consistent then only you get results because a short term so selecting the right client making sure that you are honest candid blunt without worry of whether they'll sack you or no and the third thing is use pick which is be persistent insistent consistent because it takes time for things to happen to evolve and therefore if you have selected the right client who has the patience and a positive and growing attitude of evolution product may be revolutionary but your approach has to be evolutionary and similarly honesty and transparency and all my clients uh, whom i have selected and they have selected me they many a times in the meeting say mr kapoor tell us the brutal truth so then it's an environment which will be moving towards growth and the third thing is persistence insistence and being consistent is it so these are the three pieces of advice i would give to people who are in consultancy and training many a times it happens is uh, because of the fear of losing a client or because of fear of not having enough clients uh, one tends to compromise my thinking in life has been right from the time now it's um, uh, more than 25 and a half years that i started the first uh, brand marketing strategy in sansika marketing consultants and i i always in my mind think that uh, if supposing i don't have a single client some day then i'll write my 21st book but i am not willing to compromise the strategy and the way to go about it because that's very very important because they have come to you for the honest truth for the right advice if i many times i tell the client that if you want a yes man if you are doing it right i will not make you change it but if you are doing it wrong i will do everything possible on the face of this earth to make you change it even if i have to be thrown out there is no problem all that now. and if you really want it see many a times the last pe aap hasoge many a times when we tell the client don't do this then i use this phrase saab main aapko khushi ka rasta dikha raha hu aur aap khud khushi ke raste mein ja rahe hain to khud khushi ke raste mein to khud bhi kar sakte consultant ka kya zarurat <laughs> so they understand so these three pieces of advice i can give in consultancy and training everyone will not agree with this but this is what i practice and i can share with you absolutely in fact i think this is not valid even in the service industry in general if you practice yes. some of the principles which you said yes it requires guts but it is certainly doable uh, yes. abhinav takur over to you for your question can you you put on your video please yeah i have some problem with my cam camera is not coming on okay Go so ahead, my question is that the gdp has contracted 
right? The, there is a fall in consumption as per the GDP. Then how will some companies be able to survive? Like say, let's take the air, airline industry for example. And the second is, what is the main difference between B two B and B two C marketing? See, the first thing is that if you actually look at it in terms of whether it be airline or hospitality, or whether you look at it in terms of restaurants, or whether it look at it travel industry, etc., 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 or even restaurants, I like to give you a statistic which may surprise you. Starbucks has opened forty new Starbucks outlets in this COVID year. Forty new outlets. Okay, not a single person in Starbucks, that is Tata Starbucks, has had to forego their salary. They have had consistently all the salary, even though three months, four months, everything was cool. They have adapted. They have made sure that takeaways are there. They have kept the sanitary conditions, everything being there. They are in a position to be able to do it. So the fact of the matter is, I am not saying that the airline industry should suddenly change and start a bullock cart. But what happens is. that we have to be able to understand that it is not going to stop forever the important thing is that you have to be able to understand that it has not gone down to zero it's not that flights are not taking off maybe in some months it dropped by 50% some months it dropped by 25% some months it dropped by 60% some months it dropped by just 10% the other thing is in terms of hospitality or travel industry if you can't fly it doesn't mean that you can't travel you can travel by road personal transportation and cars have gone up huge and there are adaptations someone is mentioning also airlines have adapted in terms of seats etc flight kitchens are thriving there is no problem at all so the important thing is you need to be in a position to be able to adapt you need to be in a position to keep an open mind and then whether this is going to last for 3 months for 3 days or for 3 years no one can say but you should be ready for the challenge because consumption has not stopped ye cheese is the most important thing consumption has not gone down people still eat still drink still wear and still watch everything is still continuing for consumption only thing is the ways of being able to reach and preach may have to be adapted and changed and for that you need to be have an open mind your second question about b2b and b2c and uh, i'd like to mention there is no pure and you may not agree with me but there is no pure b2b business and there is no pure b2c business let me explain to you let's take b2c the biggest example of b2c is fmc right and uh, we have a lot of people here representing fmcg consumer products so we say b2c that's a b2c business you're selling a soap you're selling a shampoo you're selling a cola or selling uh, snacks etc but if you actually look at it b2c is happening when the consumer buys from the retailer but before that whatever is happening is b2b the primary sales which is from the company to the distributor is a b2b sale the secondary sales from the distributor to the retailer is a b2b sale it's a business to business sale it's only when the retailer sells to the consumer it's a b2c sale so even in b2c there is a b2b component now let's go to the b2b one let's take your airline example okay now supposing boeing is there or airbus is there and they are selling aircraft and supposing they are selling aircraft to spice jet or to indigo right so it's supposed to be b2b business right business to business and so airbus or boeing is selling aircraft to spice jet or to indigo but in that b2b also there is b2c for example the way the aircraft is going to be designed is also going to look at the comfort of the consumer the leg space how comfortable is the bathroom what is the way the air conditioning is going to be there so in that b2b business also there is b2c so the fact of the matter is we must be able to understand one of the best companies in india is asian paints even in terms of b2b b2c or whether it be service or product every product has little service in it every service has some product in it we must be able to understand that it is a blend the proportions may vary so therefore any pure b2b and b2c business to my mind doesn't exist there will always be a b2c component into a b2b business and always be a b2b component in a b2c business once you start thinking from that angle you will suddenly start opening your mind and you will be able to satisfy consumers and customers also the difference 
customer is someone who purchases consumer is someone who consumes a customer could be the father who purchased the packet of lays that's the customer he paid for it and the son or daughter actually opened it and consumed it that's the consumer so you need to have the strategies for the customer which is slightly different and for the consumer which is slightly different and it's quite possible that a consumer could be a customer also or a customer could be a consumer also and the last thing which i would say is which is a big mistake done everyone starts marketing starting from production no sorry you need to start thinking of marketing from consumption you have to because the consumer is the king you have to look from consumer to consumption and then work backwards towards production and that's the best way of doing it i hope i have answered your question sir absolutely sir and i must appreciate the patience and the enthusiasm with which you have taken up all these I, questions i, uh, uh, I know you mani, professor mani i got home delivery of starbucks so i am enjoying that hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful i think on that note uh, we will have to say that all good things come to a pause but as mr kapoor said don't bargain try to gain as much as you can and i think that's what we all did this evening in plenty many of you came in at a later point in time many of you joined in later there are so many of you mm -hmm. watching on youtube those of you who did still can see it on the bma youtube channel and of course reaching mr kapoor through his books his website his webinars is perhaps one of the most uh, wonderful ways to educate yourself on how to be in a situation of no rona during corona on that note i'd like to hand over to dr kavita lagate as many of you know dr kavita lagate is our incoming president of the bombay management association many of us are members here and we already know that post uh, elections during the new fiscal the handover takes place so we are now on an overlap period and the handover is going to happen soon so i request dr kavita to say a few words wrap up and also propose the vote of thanks both on behalf of bajaj and bma over to you kavita yes thank you thank you professor mani and uh, uh, jagdeep uh, kapoor sir as usual we had a very engaging and very interesting and so many mantras you have coined i think we we got some additional mantra after your 18 mantras also <laughs> one of them uh, professor mani has mentioned that uh, why bargain when you are going to gain and also you said khushi or khud khushi and uh, the every service has a product in it and vice versa and also hih and choose your customer i think that is a great uh, uh, piece of advice i would say it is not that you are begging you are trying to choose who you want to work with and that is a great insight i think you had given us all these 18 mantras and some additional mantras that you have coined during this uh, uh, discussion forum also are going to be a path breaking for many of us who are trying to see how management can be interesting and how you can uh, be optimistic in the very very challenging situations like covid 19 last one year we had experienced it but with this talk of yours i think there is a big ray of hope that we all are seeing that it's not only about pessimism that we can go into but there is a opportunity there are though there are challenges we can tweak little bit and make the business make our own life and our personal life also very very uh, fruitful and enjoyable so thank you so much for accepting our invitation it's always pleasure to hear you Uh, not only in class but on the forums like this i'm sure many of the students of yours many of your clients many of our colleagues are here uh, the former presidents of bombay management association uh, indrapal ji uh, then uh, we have uh, ardesh fernandes sir chaya madam is also there uh, md agrawal sir is there kondap sir is there many of the marketing professors also have enjoyed this and thank you very much for being with us for almost over one and half hours 
and looking forward to your uh, visit to BMA, but not after 25 years. We want you to come <laughs> much earlier than that. And I hope that this pandemic will get over and we can see you, meet you in person. And thank you so much for uh, giving us this time. I will request everyone to please put their videos on so that uh, we can have a, a photograph. Uh, and uh, also I will mention here that coming Saturday at 10 o'clock, we have another um, leader speak series for Leader Next. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mohit Kapoor from Reliance Industries will be talking on uh, digital innovation and strategy. So you all are invited. You will get the link for attending this session also. Another interesting session coming up on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much for being with us. And my thanks are due to all my colleagues from BMA, from JB, and all the invited uh, uh, the participants for this particular webinar. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Kavita. Thank you, Professor Mani. Thank you, Chaya. Thank you, Dr. Kota. Thank you, Hindu class. Namaskar. Vishwaraj? Vishwaraj, we may close. Huh? We may close the meeting.